Hi everyone, Charmaine here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this twist pop-up card. So as you can see, I have made this in different versions, but of course to make everything all the more easier, this tutorial comes with a free printable. All the measurements are already in this printable. I will put the download link in the description of this video. If you print this printable on an A4 sheet, you should get the exact measurements in millimeters. Everything in this printable is already to scale, so you don't really have to do any measurements if you have a printer. But otherwise, if you still need the measurements, they are also on the printable for your reference. But of course, before we proceed any further, may I invite you to click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So as you can see, my sample twist pop-up cards are already fully decked and I used a variety of sheet types like there is tracing paper, I have pink paper, and I also used gray paper and it's filled with prints and stuff. But for this demo, I'm using a light gray colored A4 sheet for your reference with a 90 GSM thickness. All the information that you will need is on the printable. So this one I haven't corrected, but the printable download in the description should read all measurements are in millimeters and not centimeters. And of course, we have the legends which will indicate which parts you will cut. Like we have the cutting mark, the fold mark for the valley fold, and the fold mark for the mountain fold, and the areas where you will apply glue. If it is your first time doing paper craft, here is a reference for the fold marks. The mountain fold is the one that is pointing up and then the valley fold is the one pointing downwards. Then for the glue mark, so I have put in a hatch on the part where you will apply the glue. So you can see it on this portion and on this portion at the bottom, but you will appreciate this later in the demo. This a hatch mark actually helps a lot in making or completing this twist pop-up card. And as mentioned, I am printing this on a 90 GSM A4 sheet. Alright, so the first step of course after understanding and printing your printable, you will have to cut out each piece. You will get a total of about 3 big parts and 4 small parts. Simply follow all the cut marks on the printable and you should have all the parts and it would be easier to assemble everything later on. So feel free to adjust, scale up or scale down the measurements. As long as you more or less keep the ratio and proportion, you should be able to get a fully working twist pop-up card. Once done, you grab the largest piece in all the cutouts so because this one is the base. So the base is more of like a guide. You can actually print it directly on thicker paper, but I like to put it on a harder base. And my base, as you can see, is a 200 GSM sheet of paper. Your base, or this is like the main body of your card, is better thicker because it actually gives the card more body when you pull out the paper mechanism later on so you can actually decorate your components before you put it together i suggest that strongly but for this demonstration i kept them all simple just so as not to be so confusing when you're following along so i just apply glue onto this base component and i put it on the 200 gsm sheet of paper i think it's a card already it's not a sheet of paper anymore and as you can see i left like a margin allowance around the paper itself you don't have to but this is a personal preference of mine i don't know it's more for aesthetic than anything functional you can actually cut it to the exact size if you wanted and then once you've cut the whole thing, all you need to do is fold it in half. And when you fold, be sure to press down and just to, you know, make the crease more prominent. It should open up like this. 
and that's the first component of this dust card done so set that aside for now and we will come back to that later on now it's time to grab the component so this is the paper mechanism itself it has the most lines amongst all of the components on there so we will begin with the valley folds so just follow along the lines when you do this so i'm just making a valley fold for the x mark at the center of the paper so do it for both sides so as you can see i start with the corner and then i just how do you call this make it kiss the other corner so you'll have the that line there and there you go now we have our two valley folds and then the next is the center line is a mountain fold so just simply fold it as you can see on screen so do this very carefully you want to be as precise as possible so you can have your paper mechanism work really well and now you just fold it inwards to create a house shape or an arrow shape as you can see on screen and this is the bare minimum of the paper mechanism for our twist pop-up card now the next step is to attach this paper mechanism onto the twist pop-up card and in order to do that you will have to put glue on one side of the triangle so carefully apply the glue onto the triangle part try to avoid the other parts just so it doesn't stick awkwardly and then you place it center of your card base as you can see on screen and then just press it down like so and as you press it down apply glue on the other triangular base on top so just slowly glide the glue onto that triangular shape and i'm taking out the excess glue and i just fold in the top part of the card and press it down until it holds when your glue dries it should do this and this is the bare minimum of your paper mechanism but i just folded it down for a bit just to make sure all the parts of the glue stuck properly before i added in the pockets now let's work on the third component which is the pocket so just follow along so you will be folding a valley fold followed by a mountain fold and followed by another valley fold so the goal here is to create a sort of like a w you will see it in a bit i will show it to you on screen of what i mean by the w when you open it up you will get a w in profile like so so there's like a w shape happening over there and then the next step is locate the center of your w and try to put it over the paper mechanism we created so you want it to be in the center as well you start by laying the whole thing flat on the paper mechanism and then you fold in one of the flaps inwards and you get this hatch on there and as instructed in the legends this is the portion where you will apply your glue so apply glue on to the hatched portion and then fold your flap back in place press it down so it holds and then do it for the same side but as you notice the hatch is located on the opposite end so it's now on the lower end and so just do it as you see on screen and give time for the glue to fully dry and hold the paper together in my experience the first fold usually needs to be guided so i try to hold and guide where they should fold and after that it will be very easy for you to open it up and close it again and open it up and close it again and there you have it your twist pop-up card is actually done so for the remaining components all you have to do is fold the flaps inwards and you can do it all for the four pockets so these pockets are more of a personal thing it's just my personal preference um, most of the cards that i saw online didn't have these pockets but i thought you might want them as well because you know i like stuffing 
things inside these cute little pockets like stationery, stickers, ephemera. But you can forgo the pockets if you just want to add journal cards or decorate the W fold. Then in order to attach these pockets, all you have to do is apply glue onto the flaps and stick them onto the card faces. Just simply repeat the flap folding and the application of the glue for all the four pockets until you have all four of them attached onto the W fold or the base. And once they're all dry and secure, they should fold snug and tight as you have made them. So now it's time to fill in the pockets. You can add in tiny stickers, tiny die cuts, ephemera, and decorate your twist pop-up card with your style, with your character, and with your personality. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video fun and hopefully simple enough to do yourself. And if you do get a chance to recreate this paper craft or any other of my paper crafts don't forget to tag me on instagram i would love to see your recreations thank you so much for making it through till the end i will see you next time for now take care and keep safe bye